So now uh, I will explain about how to uh, set uh, parameters for interior rendering. So to actually to use interior rendering, instead of setting camera from 3D view, you have to go to each floor. Because if you, you may, if you want to render first floor, you have to go to first floor. If you want to render some room in a second floor, you have to go to second floor. So actually, instead of working on in 3D here, you have to change to your levels. So actually, I, this one is level one. This one is level two. I assume that you also have a levels. So let's say your uh, important courtyard is ground floor, go to ground floor or level one. So in level one, let's assume that I will want to render this nice kitchen dining that how does the you know, sunset lighting go through my dining table. So let's say that to actually set a camera, uh, if you click the, this triangle button, you will see that there's a camera button here. And then click this one. Uh, okay, so save your project. So just save your project, whatever name. Uh, go to desktop. Okay. So and then I will click twice. So first click is for your camera point. And the second one is actually your target point. Make sure that this camera only show till the end of this target point. So make sure that this target point is long enough to show uh, something in your building. For example, if the target point is located somewhere here, this will not show the behind words. So here I will drag it back and make sure that, but this is far view, so kind of make sure that your target point is behind object that you want to show. And if I click twice, then you will see this one. And actually then, actually one of the uh, things is actually, so if you want to show wider angle, the way you, how you want to do is simply changing this viewport angle. So as you see here, by clicking this one and drag it right side, you can actually make it this one as wider lens. So this one is actually one way of using, uh, make your camera wider. So again, so this is kind of how to set a camera and actually, that's it. <laughs> so to use that, so uh, as a second step, what you have to do, you want to kind of prepare a kind of like a nice sunset kind of setting. So I also click shadow on. So now this is roughly, let's check what is this time. Sun pass on. So, so actually then I will change the time. So also single click use share the settings to connect this setting to your rendering setting. So let's say that I want to change somewhere 6 and apply. So, okay, so this is kind of showing that, oh, I have a nice living room, have a sunset shining, goes to my dining table, kind of something, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so kind of this one is ready. And then all you have to do is just go and simply go to render and then simply render. And actually, so kind of medium. And then when you render interior, make sure that your lighting setting is actually uh, select interior sun and artificial. What this artificial, okay, of course sun, you can understand. Sun is the rendering the sun. This artificial lighting, actually I will explain in, in electrical lighting part, uh, there's a special file called IES file, which is actually that mimic exactly the light pattern of lighting fixture. So most of good or well-known lighting manufacturer, when they sell their product, they also provide you IES file. So actually when ar any architect actually can simulate how does the interior uh, loom look like with exactly the same lighting pattern of lighting fixture. So actually this one will actually turn on this lighting behind this one. And actually there are a couple of more lighting here. So simply all you have to do is simply, uh, I would just use the low quality and rendering. So basically, this is interior lighting. Very easy. <laughs> so when you pick the camera, you just place the camera in the, on the level, right? That's yes, on the level. That's it. Okay. That's a little bit different one from exterior rendering. But it's also exterior rendering. If you want to render some entrance or main entrance of the building, then actually you c it's better for you to select ground level or level one and locate a camera that kind of tours your entrance as you did, as we just did in interior lighting. And you can also adjust the height of the camera to the property. Oh, that one is actually using pen, that's it. Oh. Yeah. That is actually basically how to render interior. I may not